Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZog coming to you from somewhere in this world and uh, picking up where we left off. We just did this lair and uh, we have a couple promotions in here and actually I have something else to show you uh, that I will report just to make sure as it's being fixed because we mentioned it last time our research uh, with our void omen was off and at the end of last episode Pandoran lair was at 10 hours but now since I've saved and coming back into record the next episode it's sitting where this is where i feel it should have been after we uh, got rid of that void omen so i'll report all that so uh, hopefully they can make it a little smoother when it gets fixed with the next update uh, but this is now i was hoping I, I was kind of looking forward to only 10 hours waiting for our bonus resources here but we got to wait 20 hours now so this is what we're going to do uh, we're going to jump into personnel and we're going to do the promotions that we got last time and get those knocked out of the way so we do not forget skidoo you are one of them that gets the promotion and uh ready for action or lab assistant well acid resistance isn't it's only cost 10 though it's not like a major gotta have it perk uh, so I'm going to do ready for action. That is kind of an important one to be able to move around for an assault to all your all your grenades and weapons and stuff as we start picking those up. This one is a big deal to me. And uh, then what I'm going to do, your delirium's only sitting at two. So, and that means uh, with your crap stamina because we lost your head, you're, you're, that's why you're losing the two here and the willpower up here. So we'll, we'll get that back. That's not going to be a big deal. So two delirium is not really an issue. So therefore, I'm going to lean in and give you a little more will because once we recover our stamina, we'll get full effect for our will. Uh, then we have another promotion down here, our sniper Rabizaso. And you now have Inspire, where killing an enemy grants additional, all, you know, all allies an additional will point. Yeah, but you know, both of these are really good. But guess what? I'm taking Kill Zone first. Because uh, now that this team at least has the Frenzy Mask uh, on board uh, to help us out, I, I'm going to go with Inspire second. I do want to get it, but we're picking up Kill Zone first. Because for a sniper, now that we don't have perception issues either, uh, we're going to get maximum use out of that. Okay, um, I'm not going to jump in and spend any more. We'll just hang on to the SP that we got left. So there's there's this team here. Now there's one more thing I want to show you uh, that I noticed. Uh, we lost our turret last time, recall? Yes, yes, it's, it's not there. It was shot to pieces. Unfortunately, in manufacturing, that's the one I was built for the last one we lost. It's not automatic down here uh, when you, and I, I always thought it, it was, but I'm glad I checked to make sure, but it's not automatic down here, and I can't afford to build one right now with our resource situation, uh, but I got to remember to come back in here and build another turret uh, for Joe Expendable, because it's a little weird taking out, you know, technicians without turrets so that's just something else i thought i'd throw out there to keep your eye on when you're playing your own games and let's get going so what i'm thinking of doing is i'm actually now seems to be a good time uh we're gonna take nefertiti no relation jones fly here back to the base and drop off citizen eileen um it'll delay us a tiny just a tad longer and uh we'll just have to deal with it or maybe i'll shuffle one of the snipers from the other team over to here just so we have a sniper. And since we got to wait longer for Sean uh, Skelpit McGuire to regain his stamina from losing his head, we're going to try. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure that out. But I am going to fly Citizen Eileen back over to the base on the Nefertiti Jones. So let's just do that. And uh, another thing I have to do is uh, we were in our thing here. We have to introduce our newest sniper down here. Paul Forrest Reynolds has joined the team. And guess what? We got a little bit of a backstory for Paul Forrest Reynolds. In fact, if you didn't see how we, uh, he, he made an appearance in season four also. And that was one, of, I'll try to remember if I can to link, uh, you know, put a, put, a, put a link at the end of this video to that mission. Because uh, that's how he came up with that 
uh, run forest run uh, nomer that that he still carries to this day whenever we see him in our season so uh, that's a fun one to see if you have a chance or haven't seen it before so let's let's hear the story of paul forest reynolds for season five Paul Forrest Reynolds had left Phoenix Point after the last Pandoran attack to try and settle down and enjoy what was left of his life. Initially, he had spent time with a Sinedrian cult learning to be an infiltrator to try and improve himself. But the politics got to him, or could we say drama? And he decided to retire to the mountains of Bavaria to live out the rest of his life fishing and occasionally hunting with his trusted rifle. Now, however, the mist was back. Although now approaching his later years, he knew he had to get back to his old team. But where to look? The old facility in Europe was abandoned, mothballed once the Pandorans had been repulsed. So where was Phoenix Point? Forrest spent many months looking for clues, and now he started suffering from nightmares. His old team were all in there. Ramex, Marine Grunt, everybody. But they all ended the same being overrun and massacred by those awful creatures. More than once he had awoken with thoughts of suicide. But that wasn't him. He was a survivor, a warrior. Be it a little slower and a little older, and not quite the shot he used to be, but with time in the training area he was sure he could get closer, maybe even better than his old, younger self, especially with those few Sinedrian tricks he had learned maybe even finish the training if time allowed. After many weeks of traveling, he finally got his first break, a weak but unmistakable Phoenix Point radio message. Hard to make out, but definitely Phoenix Point, evidence he was getting close. He was sure there was an old base somewhere in Asia. He had never been there, but from accounts from the old team in the tavern of a night after an op, he was sure he was in the right area. And then without warning, there it was, the outline of a Phoenix Point base. And it was active. He was home. So there we go. Welcome to the team yet again, Paul Forrest Reynolds. And uh, we'll try to get you trained up as fast as possible and get you put out there for good use. Uh, That's the goal. And and then uh, back over here regarding Nefertiti Jones, uh, let's go back to the Hunter Robin. What we're going to do here is we do have... Uh, to deal with Skidoo this time. This time, uh, Jerry Stray Catkins wasn't the one. It was Skidoo. Always seems to be an assault. We're actually just going to stop by uh, with Hunter Robin, these two question marks, to see if we can pick up any more exploration sites and or little stories we can work on. And we're going to come down here. Uh, Once again here, at least we have uh, a, a, a... a facility to recover stamina a little quicker than the far M will do it. So at least we're being productive on the way. And there you go. So uh, otherwise, it's a matter of keeping our eyes over here and uh, waiting for the far M. So let's get going. And we've made it here. I didn't check well enough uh, before I went over here to see if this is a new exploration site or if it was already there. Uh, but nothing happened here. Let's just move on to the next site. Let's take a look over here. The far end. We just got to wait. No, it built. Uh, uh, we have a far M available. So let's get down here. Nikolai, you don't need it. Oh, someone training. Got a little promotion there. Pays to hang out at the base with the training center every now and then. Uh, there it is, the Aurora. So uh, let's get into the Air Force. Pick out the Aurora. There we go. And now we're all troop transports, at least for the time being. And uh, there we go. Uh, Let's take a look at who we want to put on or who we can fit on the Aurora right now. And while I'm here, Landon Avery, uh, you know, as I scroll through here, we're we're just going to get any promotions done that we that we picked up at the training site. And this is a good one for you, Landon Avery. Uh, kill and run is an automatic pickup for me for my assaults. Uh, I also greatly love quarterback to, to increase the range we can throw out, you know, and the speed doesn't help either. Or doesn't, excuse me, doesn't hurt either. Uh, but kill and run I really like. And uh, it was a little cheaper to start with, allowing me to give you, we're going to go with a pinch of strength for you, at least this time. 
All right. Uh, then I think we had one more promotion that popped up. Uh, Trooper Square Nuts, congratulations to you. Let's see where you've gone. And we're not going to pick up your mounted item proficiency. What we are going to do is uh, the, we're going to go back and pick up your close quarters evade. So uh, those times when you get close, at least you can have reduced damage uh, when you're hit. And then uh, because you get hit a lot, there's, it's kind of a toss up because I, I, I need both uh, strength and willpower. This, this, this particular one, because 15 is just really low for being close up. We're giving you the strength first. All right. And I don't think there was anyone else. What we got to do is figure out who's going to get on what ship. And manufacturing wise, uh, pretty soon, because I wanted to peak three hour in eight hours time, which is nothing. Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna be in good shape. So I'm gonna get you on board, uh, Dwayne Clark. Uh, you uh, you're going on the Aurora, Paul Forrest Reynolds. Uh, you're going on the Aurora. And who else do we got? Well, we, 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 we have, well, the Manticore 1 and Machine Hater are teamed up and have pretty good balance and mix. What I could temporarily do is move Jackrabbit over to the other team uh, so that they have a high-level sniper and bring uh, Paul Forrest Reynolds back over here. But I'm kind of... Kind of liking the idea of a high-level team. So I think what we'll do is uh, just hold on with the Aurora till Citizen Eileen gets here. And we'll have you all that are slightly lower level have a chance to uh, level up together. On Hopefully we don't pick some bad, bad... Oh, wow. So there's a lot of things here. So maybe we didn't quite get fully replenished. Is that what this is telling me? No, that symbol is not full replenishment. That's just telling me, um, sorry to have misread that for y'all. Who uh, That just means we, we, we aren't quite at full stamina and or full health. So uh, I had a oops moment there. Uh, the one thing I am going to check is our next hire coming up is supposed to be a heavy. Let's just see in here, not that we can afford it yet, if a heavy happens to be available. And absolutely not. So uh, I kind of looked around the map before I started recording. Didn't see any heavies available for hire. Not that we can do any of this right now, but I wanted to sneak in here and at least see. That way, uh, depending on what we have coming up next, we're looking at uh, someone wanting uh, heavy and a berserker and a heavy or infiltrator coming up next. So... None of those are any of these choices. So we're going to just have to keep our eyes open for what, what we're looking for uh, from you guys, the viewers. Other than that, let's just keep everybody moving. Now, let, now uh, the only one I have to check is over here. Machine Hater. No, Manticore. And so, actually, Sean, you're, you're pretty close. Let's just check to see if you're up to... I would, you know, we're going to be able to have you fly out real quick. So once we get over to that next haven, you'll be should be up to thirty. Ooh, but you own delirium, so I really need to have your stamina all the way up, because that will still keep you with negative four in the delirium column. Not that as a sniper, that's the end of the world, because we only really have gunslinger that uses willpower. Hmm. Oh, and look. You have a promotion here that it didn't seem to highlight. So let's see what we can do about that. I like the idea. Yeah, here we go. This will this will help counter some of that. Battle hardened is uh, is the perk we're picking up. Uh, we gain two to all primary stats, plus 10 10 percent to accuracy and plus four percent to perception. Well, that's like a no brainer, and that'll boom 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 across the board for us. So uh, I'm picking that up since you. Had a little promotion, apparently, by sitting here and training, and it just probably hadn't popped up yet to show me. And there we go. So, yeah, we're going to keep everybody as is. We're going to watch over here for our next... Oh, I didn't even get you flying. I'm glad we... Oh, no, you are. Let's go there. All right, nothing else seemed to pop up. Now we're coming down here just to recover stamina for Skidoo, and then we'll be ready here to meet back up. Uh, with Nefertiti Jones after that and start exploring as a pair, pair and team of manticores. All right, now we're coming back over here. 
Uh, Nikolai is almost ready to go out. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to keep our eye on Sean because once he's full, we can get the, uh, the Manticore 1 and Machine Hater. And uh, there we go. Could this be three layers in a row that we take on? I also got to get back up here to do this, but I, I'm going to knock out the lair first because I really, really, really want to get heavy on exploring for resources, and I don't want to have to worry about dangerous ambushes. So that is what we'll do first in an attempt to uh, remove that void omen that I despise. So uh, let's have everybody fly just a little bit more and where... Yeah, there's Sean. Uh, we'll just get you back up to full and then get going. Okay, so I did a lot of clicky clicking to keep things going, but we're going to have to find out where that Disciples of Anu Haven is, see if we're close enough to help out, and uh, look at our upgrades that we more than likely will be facing on this Haven defense if we can get there. This guy is bulky. This guy's got a lot of armor, and he can shoot us. And he's got a spitter head. You know, don't want to leave those details off. So he's pretty armored in the legs. So their normal soft spot is not the soft spot on this guy. Arthron Myrmidon Champion. Okay, he's he's bulking up on hit points too. So he's he's no longer this guy is no longer a one shot to take out. Uh, we we got we got to team up against him. Uh, this guy even has 200 hit points with the Acid Grenade Launcher. I believe that's what that one is. Yep. And uh, armor, not quite as hefty on the legs, but these guys are armoring up. Let's face it, we got more challenges out there to deal with. And Poison Worms now has uh, heavy legs, stomper legs, whatever you want to call them. He's got them. And uh, I like the legs on this guy. Uh, but acid worms are now in play in the game, and this Kyron looks uh, looks a little gooey to me. I, I wonder if he's even a bomber. I don't know these guys all by name, so let's find out. Yeah, goo bomb. So another gooer who is a little heftier than the original gooer we've been facing. All right, let's go find out where that haven is. And guess what? It's nearby. So before we get into the lair, we're, we're popping over here. The good news is Anu will be able to do it. But, you know, even though we're getting reduced rewards, I kind of want to get up here and do this. I kind of do. So uh, let's see who we've got. Well, what I can do is this. I will get Nefertiti over here. That way she doesn't have to fly all the way back to the base. We'll get Nefertiti here, and then we'll get our new crew. That's what I'm thinking we'll do, is we'll take out the new crew, and maybe even we could take out Road Train on this one, uh, depending on uh, how we feel. So let's get flying up here with Nikolai Carpathia. Let's get to Aurora, get up here, and we're all close enough to get there, and then we're going to reroute Nefertiti over here so uh, our sniper could be added to the team, Citizen Eileen, if we desire uh, a sniper on this mission. So there we go. And uh, just a quick peek over here. And this team should be ready to go. We got a promotion. I'm going to jump in here. And anybody who got a promotion, Yaya, yeah, yeah, will take it. Level 4 allows you to carry an assault rifle now, which, you know... Uh, it doesn't bother me so much uh, having access to another weapon for you. So this is only 15 to pick up. I do like this too. But I want to give you some weapon choices first. So we're doing this. And then I am going to we'll get you up to the 20 point on your health and leave it at that. Any other promotions? Let's find out. No. Let's get everybody flying. Uh, we're flying up here now with this team, and then with the Manticore 1, we're coming down to the lair. And the Machine Hater also coming down to the lair. And we know how tough they've been for us lately. They've been challenging uh, as we adapt to the new Touched by the Void mechanics. So uh, we'll see if we're up to that challenge and everybody else. Yeah, everybody should be flying now. Everybody's flying. Okay, our first ship. 
has made it there, but we're not ready. We don't have our full teams there. And the payoff, if that is adjusted, or is still seemed decent. Uh, and who knows? Are we going to get to the lair first? It's that, that's a coin coin toss, if you ask me. Let's find out. Ah, that came just in time too. So in case we do the lair first without a payoff, we can afford uh, to pay back for the ammo that we're using. And we also have new research available. A Pandoran Spawnery. Well, dang right, we'll put that in there. Anything to uh, be able to do more hurt to it when we're over there. So we can leave that much sooner. And uh, we'll keep that next. I'm still going to need more resources, especially if we do the lair first. And where are we? We're real close there. So it looks like uh, the Haven Defense is the one that more than likely, it looks like we're closer to that one. So the winner has been determined. Let's get there. All right, here we are. Okay, low threat level on this one. That sounds nice after a couple layers that have proved interesting, uh, especially the last one with all those sirens and the Acheron. But we will uh, take this on. It's daytime also. Yeah, they're they're a little less, but they're they still seem worth it to me. I guess we'll find out how much ammo we use. Uh, let's figure out who we're taking out on this one. In fact, I'm thinking. Since we don't have as big a payoff, I will take you on this one, Road Train, for the simple hope that we don't use quite as much ammo. And then what we're going to do here, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can uh, switch you over to... Oh, wait, 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 wait I think we can. Uh, we're going to switch you over to the Aurora right now, so I don't forget. Okay, so I can't do it on this screen, so we'll have to remember after the mission to switch Citizen Eileen. Uh, let's go see who might help us out the best on these teams. So, uh, Citizen Eileen, you're the only one on this team who would potentially be going. In fact, you're our only sniper on this one. I'm kind of leaning to, well, because, Paul, you're low level, though. Citizen Eileen at least has the one action return fire. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, Paul... At least on this one, we're not taking you out. I will take out, um, uh, and we, we do have a turret here. Airhawk, we do have a decent weapon with you. Now, Shane Marine Grunt Vanson, uh, we've been having bad luck in some of these. I I'm, got, I'm gonna pass on an infiltrator on this one. And especially, at least right now, with the new Touch by the Void, we're going to try and get people that can get up close to support a sniper that hits and kind of play it that way. I got one more I can take out, and I might might make it you. Yeah, we'll go with you, Airhawk. And, and this is the team we're going to take out. Now we just got to see. Do I have backup? Okay, we got backup grenades. Probably don't need to really carry those. But they're there to get if we need them. Trooper Square Nuts. Yeah, you're you're all in good shape here. You do not have the ability to switch stuff around, though. So that, I'm going to take that away from you. Uh, apparently, we may have some new goo boots that have been built now, which means our other the the other tech, technical stuff we were waiting for has been completed. So you can afford to wear the goo boots and you're going to carry a couple more grenades for us. Shane Marine Grunt, we'll get you back out. We got, uh, I think next in line up for you may indeed be your new armor that will help you stay hidden. So uh, we will use that. And as a matter of fact, temporarily we can do that. Put that on you. And uh, you're not going though. So let's let's keep moving. Tomas Terrible and Enriquez is going. You have goo boots. You can carry one more thing, which uh, I'm going to make a grenade. Unfortunately, we need to get you promoted because you don't have ready for action moving you know, the grenades in. That'll cost us if we want to throw one. In fact, starting out, we'll put one there because the odds are we won't end up close to anybody to use that at least right away. And Joshua, you are not on this team uh, it's Citizen Eileen. Let's take a look at how she is equipped. Uh, we did get her pistol. I don't know if I have... Yeah, not, no no real upgrade, so we'll keep it just like this. 
And now we got to work through some of the others. And there we go. We got Airhawk and Landon Avery. Equipment looks good. You can jump out of goo. We're not don't need to give you the goo boots, uh, but we are. We're gonna pick you up a little more willpower for your jet jump, since it's a little anemic at the moment. And then uh, Landon Avery, we're gonna see about popping goo boots on you. And good, you're not over encumbered. What do you know? I will. We haven't picked up quarterback for you. Um, I think what we'll do uh, for the moment is give you extra ammo instead and just go this way. We won't use the obliterator if we don't have to and just play it like this. So the team is ready. We're going to go out and we're going to see if this uh, newer, newish kind of team is up to it. We'll see you down there. All items on the battlefield will be automatically recovered. All right. At least it's not a slums kind of area. That's good news for you, Road Train, moving around. And we see one enemy right off the bat. It looks like a shotgun, if you want my opinion. No. I, I Boy, th if there's any one weapon I misread all the time, because I can never remember a maniac carries it, it, it it's this weapon visually I, I, I'm confused all the time. From this angle, it kind of has a shotgunny look to me. You know, y'all should know by now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, we don't see anybody right off the bat. The biggest glob of citizens, the biggest globbery of citizens is over here. So I'm thinking, uh, Trooper Square Nuts, we're going to have you take the first uh, job of getting in there, especially these guys on the ground floor, and then in the process, see if we see anything else. Okay, it looks like we have one more upstairs. So five, this is five out of the seven. So there's probably then two over in this building, perhaps. So <clears throat> that makes him some of a, somewhat of a priority because uh, he could kill these guys. Trooper Square Nuts, uh, let's see if we can move this civilian out of the way first. And then maybe you can have a shorter route to activate some more. Uh, we're going to send our civilian all the way back here. Hopefully... Well, how about we, we, we send the civilian, yeah, we can't quite get the civilian upstairs. So we're just going to send the civilian to the back of the room. We're going to get a sense of what else is around outside this building and see if we have to move them further. Oh, baby. Our civilians seeing more than we do. What are we looking at here? Well, they all come with that tunnel rat ability, which is extra stealth and extra speed. Psychic scream. Mind control, acid spray, 20 armor on the head. So not the worst we've seen, but, you know, not easy either. So let's um, move you here now, a little farther away. Uh, Trooper Square Nuts, Moving now. I'm trying to rescue the ones we can nearby, but then I'll try and get you out of line of sight so we don't get mind controlled. Maybe we'll have some other answers. To deal with these guys obviously a uh, little launch from road train can't hurt maybe over here but we'll see if we can get some harder punches over here too okay let's get you guys running and our myrmidon is now okay uh fire grenade is feeling like it can hurt a lot over there and i'm seeing no touched by the void symbols purple hazes whatever you want to call the thing uh, to change my mind. So the citizens on the second floor are still a tad closer than I would prefer. However, uh, let's see what we can do about it. Uh, we have a chance. Can you launch far enough? Yes, you can. I don't know if that was accurate enough. Yeah, we, we aired heavily on the side of the siren. Hopefully, though, once she starts moving, she'll be burning. We can hope. So I'm going to send uh, the second grenade, and I'm going to center on these guys this time in the hope that you can hit everybody that's over here. And we took out some legs on this guy. So that's going to make it a little harder for him to get in here to shoot us badly so 
the two weaker oh now they're all burning so that extra launch did get the siren burning in addition so uh, they if they move towards us especially her in order to mind control us she's got to move through a lot of fire which could really add up of the burning damage there is what i'm hoping for so trooper square nuts i think at this point it's uh, in our best interest to kind of back off a little and one team i'm noticing i want to get more uh, priests hired so we can have the benefit of frenzy and i'm kind of thinking line of sight wise she doesn't see so much of us here that's that's what i'm leaning towards it also then keeps us in the neighborhood to deal with these guys and or rescue depending on what is the most urgent coming up okay now we got others that we could start bringing over and uh it's taken a chance that she, I, i'm really counting on her burning a lot if we're really lucky, losing a head. And uh, that's why we're playing it. Now, I do see this shot. So let's think about this shot, Citizen Eileen. The question becomes for you, do we have an angle? <clears throat> and it doesn't look like it. And I don't really want to get you in sight of her, so she just stands there and mind controls you. That That's also not ideal. So I, I guess what we do is... Uh, we don't really see, as it says, we don't have a good line. Hmm. So I guess uh, what we're going to be looking at is Overwatch on these guys. So maybe what we do, no, that, that, that just, just doesn't get us in the right angle. So I'm going to take the chance on mind control because the rest of us are going to be moving over. And we're going to set an Overwatch. And uh, that's someone else. Uh, okay, there's. Oh, oh it's, it's not another citizen. I may come in here. Disciples of Anu Priest, can you frenzy? No, you can't. Uh, but you could be helpful. So we'll send maybe one of our others over here to help to, to grab you. Uh, we are going to Overwatch and try to pick up our siren as she moves and hopefully hurts herself moving through the fire. And civilians that we have there will stay. Trooper Square Nuts, you don't have enough, quite enough actions to overwatch. No, you do not. So we'll keep it just like this. And uh, who do I want to send in there? Landon, I'm, I'm leaning towards uh, getting someone on our side over here. We don't know where anyone else is out there at the moment. Kind of takes you out of the mix. But I'm hoping we'll have enough firepower uh, with the other two that well, you know what I'm gonna do I think Airhawk I'm gonna move you back to pick up the priest so that I have more maneuverability to react to whatever goes potentially haywire over here so I'm gonna bring you here Tomas to get you near I'm gonna bring you Landon Avery also near so we can either run across to get a shot on the siren or run to the corner uh, to pick on these guys, depending. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. And I think Airhawk, that way, because uh, you know there's more enemies out there. We don't know where they're coming from yet. Uh, we're going to get somebody else on our side. And I'm kind of leaning towards, uh, let's, and we, we can Psychic Scream. And it picks people up. It says I can do it. And it seems to indicate that it might, if, 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 if I can do it, I wonder if that means, is it like Warcry used to be at highlights when when someone's in the area? Well, let's move you. Uh, a Psychic Scream only, only costs one action, so I can afford to move and maybe take a look somewhere. And we saw, okay, we got you. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually come in here, pick someone else up, and this is nice to find. Now, fortunately, it's not a caller of reinforcements. It can resurrect. And Tributary of the Void is a passive ability that uh, when it dies, any friendly within 10 tiles will be touched by the void. So uh, keep this guy away from dead enemies like 
these. <laughs> okay. So that means with you, disciples of Anu Assault, for whatever reason, okay, you have 12 will. Well, it's not letting, let, let, let's end your turn. I wonder, you know what we're going to do, since it can't really, I don't think it, uh, there, there, if it does resurrect, there's not a lot, is there a lot of other skills and it does, so it does have goose spray. So that's a little bit of an issue, at least for our Anu helpers. Well, most of us are okay with goo, either via boots or, or, or other things, well, except for Road Train. But Road Train has good distance with his fire grenades. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to move on this guy. In fact, we're going to move. I lost my bearings. There we go. We're going to move you close to this guy. So I... Uh, because other than goo, not much he can do. And then uh, we're going to... Oh, you did, we didn't finish picking you up. That's... Uh, ay, 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 ay. That's why I couldn't pick you. I moved you away because you stopped here short of picking him up. And I'm a fool. So um, we'll get ready to pick you up another time. Uh, we'll get this citizen moving. I wonder if can citizens uh, go upstairs and pick up the will? There's a question for you. Let's see what happens. It's coming for you guys now. Fortunately, you overwatched. Thank you. He's going to goo us and some citizens. Wings are burning. Okay, it can still mind control. And it did. But I am thinking... I am. What's happening? Oh, I wonder if we... Uh, there, guess what? The seventh citizen was over here and he is now expired. Okay, so uh, we are mind controlled. The, the good news is... I have three of us right here, boom bidi boom bidi boom and more than likely take care of our siren problem. That means uh, I can focus, perhaps you, Road Train, since you can't move, uh, we can focus you over in this direction. So uh, let, let's launch a grenade and get our friend here burning. And he is indeed burning. Now I'm wondering if we launch a second one, if it probably will do a tiny bit of blast damage maybe. I don't think it gets it burning any more. I, I think 40 is the max you can burn at a time. So uh, let's see if we can get over here. I'm going to take you first, Trooper Square Nuts. How far? We can dash if we want. How far does that get us? Uh, we can get over here to swing. Uh, the good thing is she cannot, because I think uh, one blip of action gets us three spaces. Let's find out. One. Yes, it does. That will leave us two actions with which to swing the mallet. So we're going to do that. And I'm not so worried about these guys burning like crazy over here right at the moment. So uh, let's step over here and swing away. And uh, we can step away because we're going to be shooting at her in a minute with our assaults. And uh, that means, really, it's just my heavy over here. And these guys that I can pick up will help us out. So uh, this guy it's four, it has a lot of will points. So we uh, try to got to. We got, and we know there's someone else in here that killed something, something. Yeah, so I can't get a fire grenade over there. So we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on your second shot. Road train and uh, get rid of the siren. Yeah. Let's, let's make that job one. If I come over here, uh, it gives us a single shot or two quick aims. Uh, wrong target. There we go. So a single shot without quick aim, 
gets her down to a point where someone else can hopefully finish the job, say you. And let me just look at the armor levels that we're sitting on, because I, if we're close enough, can I or can I not use the shotgun? And we're still sitting at 10, 20. We're still sitting at just too much armor. Too much armor. So uh, you will be using the Dimos. The question will be, and that's a clear angle for us. And, and we'll, we'll have the option here also for quick aim if we need it and since this is a more accurate gun quick aim will work so we'll have the firepower to take out the siren let's do it and bring back citizen eileen and i'm going to go for the sure shot here and uh, i don't need to use any will here therefore we can do it in one shot and wow i have a shot back here uh, I doubt the quick aim will be all that great, so we're just going to use it without quick aim and kill the siren. And Eileen is back. Now this civilian cannot move. He is good. This civilian can move. And it would appear that this building will end up being safe for the moment until that Pandoran from the other building that killed the one citizen can come back. So we're going to bring you here. And we're going to bring you inside here, too. And then we have this civilian, which I'm bringing upstairs in the hopes. Is there a ladder up there that maybe a civilian under our control can pick up? I, I don't know if I've ever tried that. I probably have and just don't remember. And uh, I would think it probably doesn't work. But let's come over here. Uh, I'm thinking... Uh, we can maybe, we'll have a choice, uh, see what does better. Psychic Scream, reducing will points of enemies. It, oh, I don't think you're close enough. So it will be the, the, yeah, we're not close enough. So it will be your virus rifle shooting in there. Let's just do it. Oh, I hate when you can't see through the flame. Now, there's the outline. It's kind of through there. And we didn't get much in there uh, because of the armor. And I don't know that you're really going to be much help removing uh, that armor. But it's the shots we have. Oh, it's telling me we have to move you in order to see the thing. So we'll just come over here and do your one shot. regular style not quick aim in our attempt to slowly wear this thing down now uh, before we can get anywhere near the fallen enemies to recover and resurrect them that's the hope so road train what that means is uh, we have to figure out what to do with you uh, <clears throat> uh, since you have the ability to jump out of uh, these situations i'm going to bring you over here Airhawk, just try and hopefully, depending on how it moves, get a shot lined up. I guess the other way we could bring you is, say, over here. If he wants to shoot you and road train to, to goo him up real good, oh, oh well, let him. And our heavy may have a chance against the Acheron coming up. And now I got to decide on uh, my next grenade. We have three, to two remaining if I shoot this one. I really don't think it does much damage. And he's got so many limbs gone. He's bleeding 90. So he bleeds out in two turns. Problem is, the big problem is, well, I guess I, I have a citizen in the way, but at that distance, I'm not afraid of that weapon. Um, yeah, we'll just go over here in an attempt to get him burning more. Maybe he won't be able to shoot us. And, uh, yeah, he won't be able to shoot us. So, I think that's everybody.
had a feeling they'd get stuck. He's really trying to make them stuck. We got return fire. And now we might get a picture of who's in the building. And there he is. One grenade. We will take it because uh, the vehicle is not good any longer. So we got this thing to bleed out next turn. So as far as I know, we got two enemies. Airhawk, you know, it wasn't deemed a difficult mission. So uh, let's see if we can finish things off. There we go. Uh, we're going to move you down. Uh, we'll see if these two have enough firepower to help us out. We got a decent amount of virus in there at 17. Still not going to panic the sucker. Uh, now we got two shotgun blasts. This could really help. All right. Uh, pretty much as far as I know, he might be it. He might be it. Besides the bleeding out Myrmidon. So let's... Uh, Go at him. Unfortunately, Citizen Eileen, you can't get an angle on him. Uh, oh, yeah, you, you just can't. So we're going to have to hope our mobile assaults can finish up what road train is unable to. And he is burning, although he's not going to catch any more fire after moving let's go see what these shots do and i can always if necessary now we do have to worry about uh re no he's 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 a claw he's a claw dude i was thinking he had a gun at first it's only the grenade launcher so uh we're we're good shooting at him uh we're gonna use our quick aims this time and blam 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 He's heftier than he looks. So uh, now we need some more help. And uh, over here, we have you, Landon Avery, to try and give us some of that help. If I bring you here, <clears throat> I don't know if that tree will be in the way. We'll find out. You know, quick aim won't be quite as precise, but it's going to get him pretty close to dead. We're going to use our quick aim. That's pretty close to dead. Let's see if we can make him dead. We got Trooper Square Nuts waiting in the wings to help us out. And even though he's going to bleed out and the burnout. <clears> hmm. <throat> Let's see. You can only get one dash over there. You know, one shot of a pistol ain't going to break the bank. So that's just what we're going to do. I need an angle. All right. Now, civilians stay put. Uh... I guess we don't really need this, but let's find out if he can pick up Will for us. Yeah, he can. Oh, awesome possum. Uh, if we remember that little trick and file that one away, the civilians can be quite useful. Okay. So the next thing, and oh, I didn't notice that was that's poisonous goo that this guy had. I noticed he had goo, but I did I missed the word poison along with that goo. Uh, so what we're going to do, this thing's going to die. We're just going to end our turn. Okay, so level up Citizen Eileen. Just going out on this one. That means you're going to get uh, uh, a nice perk to pick up also. Let's get back out to the Geoscape. And there we go. We picked up another weapon for us. So that that's not... 
that's always worthwhile and uh, I'm not complaining about the payoff let's go find out now how much we used of that payoff I think we weren't ridiculous with our ammo let's let's find out we failed to identify the origin of this attack um, there's probably a nest nearby based on the strength of this attack although with an Acheron it could be a lair so it, there's a chance and look at that we hardly spent anything that is the way we need to be on our missions so there, there's a chance that that was attacked by this lair we're going to be going down to unless there's another one you know hidden up here also because we don't have radar to find it so let's um, let's uh, do a switch that we're waiting for and that is here we're going to come in here with you citizen eileen give you your promotion uh, which is gunslinger at this level that I like to pick up and we're actually going to give you a little tad more strength all right so next we got to do is remember citizen Eileen to switch you over to the Aurora because that is your new airship that you're going on Nefertiti that means we can get you flying back over to the Americas where I feel comfortable having you hang out and what we're going to do, because we are down here uh, recovering a little bit, and we're almost uh, fully recovered. So what I'm going to do is, Nefertiti, I'm going to fly you to this question mark. Hunter Robin, I'm going to have you follow to the question mark very soon. I'm going to give you a little more time just to gain back just a tiny bit more stamina, because our next mission... In fact, I'm not going to give you any more. You, you, you got enough stamina. You're going to gain some stamina as we fly up there, I think. Let's just make sure it's uh, over 50% at least. And you don't have much delirium. So uh, we're, we're knocking out the delirium effects already. So Skidoo, we're going to get you flying without full stamina. And we're going to meet Nefertiti Jones up here. And the reason being is because we do believe... Uh, there's the Aurora. Over the Aurora is going to fly back to the base really quick, just because uh, we're going to meet up with Nikolai, who and we're we're hardly going to have to stay there to get road train back to 100. percent And what that means is here is our next mission, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just pause it at this point. We're going to hope that this can be successful remove the ambushes that's what i'm hoping for if everything works out which means we can go full bore exploring also it means our three worst pandoran bases that we know of are gone we still have the nest to worry about but we'll have a team coming back here with road train and team to to be able to start heading over there so there we go that's where we're sitting right now uh, this is zigzags up signing off from somewhere in this world and uh i want to thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i really hope to see you next time we'll see if we can keep this thing progressing